Podcast. Welcome back, guys. 12-12 right now, taking a look out at a foggy Silver Mountain Resort where we saw some fresh snow make its way down yesterday uh, or early this morning, really. Uh, it seems to have tapered off now into the afternoon hours. That's the case really around the northwest where a lot of those rain and higher elevation, much higher elevation snow showers have taken a quick break, but there is the expectation that they will return by uh, this evening. Take a look at what we got out towards Seattle on the west side of the state. Uh, just partly cloudy skies out there. No rain right Right now, but same situation over the weekend as here in Spokane on off showers, some clouds, maybe a portion for the sun to come out uh, for the day, but otherwise kind of just continuing with these uh, pretty gloomy conditions outside. Afternoon temperatures here in Spokane going to make their way up to about 52 degrees within the coming hours. You can see we hold on to that 40 and 60% chance of showers into your evening, but otherwise just kind of cloudy into the next uh, couple minutes, couple of hours. Satellite radar is picking up on how those showers have kind of passed through. We've seen most of them south of I-90. Again, that southeast corner of Washington is where we've seen the heaviest accumulations of rain. Otherwise, up towards Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, pretty light, just uh, about two one hundredths of an inch uh, so far. Same situation as you move farther north of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene where it gets kind of lighter and lighter. But all that green on the screen is where we've seen a good amount of accumulating rain. Current temperatures mainly in the 40s, couple spots in the 50s, 54 in Lewiston and Pomeroy, 49 in Ritzville and 46 in Spokane. Uh, we're seeing 44 in Mazama and 48 in Sandpoint. What we've got on Future Tracker shows how those showers are going to keep pushing through over the next couple hours by 5 p.m. There's a good chance that a couple on off kind of spotty showers are going to hit eastern Washington and then into north Idaho. If you move toward the central and southern panhandle, you can see by ten late tonight, we're still going to see those showers kind of hold over the area and then just kind of come in another round of on off showers by the time we get to early Tuesday morning. Now Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday could bring us a little bit of a break, but here's some more on off showers by Tuesday evening. That little break comes Wednesday, so all the way through early Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon, we've got a good amount of uh, dry skies for just a short period of time. You can see how on the seven day forecast that works. Couple rain showers continuing today and tomorrow. Little bit of a break Wednesday morning and afternoon. Thursday going to bring us another round of those showers. Friday is going to be the best chance for some widespread sunshine, uh, drier skies. So I'd say of the next week, the upcoming week, Friday is probably your best bet for a more sunny spring like weather.